What's good, your bosses? It's your girl, Anna Vanetta. Welcome back to another Boss Type video. We're back with another episode of Central Saturday. Today, we got Elisa as a special yeah. guest. Yeah. <laughs> this is today's episode. I don't know what I just said, but it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and get into the topic. Let's go. Go ahead and pick your topic. Before we get into the topic, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you know when you're going to post another video. If you don't know what Central Saturday is, you can go back and watch the previous videos. Come back and finish this one. You know the whole spiel. Let's get into it, y'all boys. Who said that? You believe this for Lisa. I did. I did. <laughs> and she picked it, so it's perfect. Yeah, why do we feel the need to fix the front man? Let's get into it. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> um, honestly, I feel like women. I feel, I feel like this topic is just overrated, and just because yeah, I just feel like as women, we just have to feel like that. We ha we have like that natural nurturing spirit to us, and when it comes to broken men, it's like a challenge. It's like. You want to feel special enough to be that person that can fix a broken man because you like, I know that I'm worth, like I'm, I'm, at, I'm at such a high price mm -hmm. that because I know my value, that that man would know my value just as I do. So that would be enough for them to want to change for me. And I feel like it's like, it's like a project. Now I'm not saying like they're a project, but it's like, just me being a good spirit person, I know that I can bring value to that person's life that they would see that it would be worth changing their life for. And it's like we just we just want to be that person to mend a broken person and to be to I guess to kind of feel self-fulfilled. Not everybody feels like the need to be self-fulfilled, but at the end of the day, knowing that you did that, you do get that stuff from the life. Oh, I'm that big, I done, I done broke, I done fixed him, he was broken, now he's me. And it's like, we just put ourselves, we put ourselves in a position that's like, honestly, we don't even have the knowledge or the, I guess the experience for in some cases, because we don't fix ourselves and then we go into a relationship when we fix somebody else. And it's just like, you get the results you get. Ciao. <laughs> <Ooh, July. laughs> From what I see, it's like once I'm big on learned behavior. So it's definitely learned behavior. You hear it in the songs, you see it on TV, you see it in music videos and all that stuff about oh yeah, social media and all that. How yeah, he was out here dogging all of these females and I was the one that he set them down for. I was telling them da 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 da. Every female wants to be that female boy guy. And oh, <laughs> Most females always want to be that female that the guy changes for. And when we see a toxic guy, it's just like, like she said, it's a challenge. Like, it's like I wonder how special I am by, right. by being able to fix this person. Especially because when you have those females that they, they are, I can't speak for all females, but you have most females that are of pretty high caliber. And you know, a lot of them, females that some men have been dealing with are bazooka and <laughs> and it's like i know i could change your life like i was just reading on this you know i've been reading on it you know but um <laughs> i was just reading on this it's just like like you said like when you're coming out of a relationship and you want to jump right into another relationship and everybody out here is broken everybody out here is hurt and nobody's going through that process of actually healing. So you have some people that are like, okay, I've gone through this, I know how to handle this. So I see that you're missing in this area. Let me help fix you, let me help. Pile on, filling your pockets, I mean, let, let me hold. put these puzzle pieces together real quick. Yeah, but baby, yo, you missing like 85 pieces in your 100 puzzle piece yourself. And you're taking, so, out of the, you're taking out of your puzzle pieces to put in their puzzle pieces in their hole and you broke in. Like, and now you walking around with like 85 men, no, no, 
um, with like 85 pieces of you and you're stuck with the remainder 15. So now you're over here trying oh, to figure the out. Girl, I know you feel like that. I was like, in my head, I was like, that's 25. Wait, no, that's 75. Okay, got it. Stay in school. Make sure you get your diploma. Just stay away, don't lie. But yeah, no, that's honestly, I feel like that's just a very simple way to Simple reason why it's just every female typically wants to be that one female that makes the guy turn around. Like, and it's, it's honestly. In Gio's words, psychotic. <laughs> Don't want to care about Gio. No. It is psychotic. But like, when you know that you were that one that have a special impact on the individual, it's a little... It's a mind booster, an ego booster. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a little, it's a little pink baby. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, it's a little... <laughs> Hold on, we got a it's a little ooh for me, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> um yeah, yeah, like like there's there's a couple that I could say you had a little impact on. And I've lost they still have lost wait, what are we talking about? A couple dudes that we've had impacts on. Every single one. That oh, most Every definitely. Single. But like there have been just, some. Just the energy that you put into that, somebody yeah, that they've never, they never gotten before. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But like there's some that like have gotten more than others, and like they still show true, even though they. God, please stop my Stupid. Um, they still, they still show that you know. It might, sometimes I feel like it also can be in a sense that you may have repaired, not repaired, but you may have helped them mend a part of themselves that wasn't fully there. Mm -hmm. It's just you didn't really get the results that you fully intended that you really thought that you were going to get. Mm -hmm. So I feel like even so that, you know, we try to, as you know, we try to fix broken men and there's some parts of them, like some parts of us that we put in them that they have learned and they may have, you know, applied later in their life. It just, you know, wasn't with us, us. Mm -hmm. and it's like even though you don't get to be that person to see results knowing that you know you potentially prevent somebody from being in a place where you know they used to be dog and now they're you know mm -hmm. kind of in a way safe not necessarily but like better. a better person yeah it's like you still did something and you don't have to be so hot on yourself because you didn't get the results that you desired mm -hmm. so i feel like it's just it's just wanting to be that person to make an impact in someone's life in a way that they haven't gotten from someone they were previously with i know that when it comes to anybody that was in my life, you know, I give my all and you know, sometimes even when I thought I gave my all and it wasn't my all because now I know what my all is and what I'm capable of giving yeah. now, which is nothing close to what I was giving back then, it's like, I know that I did my best and I, I see a challenge and I like a challenge because it makes me feel better about myself, yeah. Yeah. but it's like, it's not my job. Mm -hmm. But then that's where a lot of females don't, they don't, okay, I'm gonna have a look at that was I feel like a lot of women, not all, but a lot of women like to fix broken men because there's parts of them that they cannot fix and they cannot find the answers to. So it's like, okay, it's a little bit easier. Generally, it's a lot easier to tell somebody else they have a pimple on their face than to look in the mirror and see that you have a pimple on your own face. So, for me to step outside of me trying to fix me and my broken heartedness, I see somebody else and I'm like, oh wow, your ex should be like that. Let me step in and show you what a real woman is like. Let me step in and show you what true loyalty is. So, while I'm not... Because a lot of females don't like to hear that. A lot of females will refuse to hear that. No, no that's not that's me. more of a personal thing, then. Because if you if you can come to terms with what you feel is what you represent and what what you bring about, you know, you're able to take responsibility for that and take your part in it, then you just take an ownership. Mm -hmm. Whatever other female that feels as though they can't own up to that, they got they got some fixing to do. Yeah, <laughs> but they, they don't want. That's why I also a lot of a lot of females. Try to fix broken men so that the broken men that they fix can fix can them. Can fix them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that.
<laughs> so sorry, don't work like that. Iron sharp and iron. Like stuff. <laughs> Can't sharpen iron with a dull piece of wood. Doesn't sound like that. But um, <laughs> yeah, no. So that's a very simplistic definition of why women just like to face men. At least in our yeah, for uh, us, person. we're a different breed. I don't know. I can't speak for the in Geo's words. Psychotic like, oh, woman. I can't speak for those. I'm, I've seen some I crazy fixed ones. you and now you belong to me. I just want to post about that today. Really? Girls are crazy. I don't want to boost you head up. Because I don't he's going to be like, oh, I was right. Was right. No, I'm No, you no. I feel like each female just has a different perspective. Yeah. But then, see, now, now I want to have a guy's perspective on why some guys want to change a female's life that's that's like the one of the number Very one <laughs> that's, like i i can hear i promise you every single dude have, that has stepped into my life and said i'm gonna change your life <laughs> sweetie you did we boxing not for the better <laughs> we're boxing every boxing <laughs> just got it this week no no we will fight I don't want it. If you're not my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> JC. No, <laughs> I don't want it. Anyways, um, yeah, I would love to play that would actually get a male's perspective on why these would like to change a female's life because it goes hand in hand. We'll put that, we'll do that for the panel, the, panel, the girls and the guys panel yeah. that will be coming up. 50th episode. It's coming shortly enough. <laughs> it's coming up shortly, y'all. Uh, but let us know why do you think from your perspective, mm -hmm. why do you why you feel like the why do you feel as though females feel the needs of big broken men? And um we'll get back to the why do you men feel like they gotta change women's lives? Why do boys feel like they gotta change women's lives? Boys, there you go. There you go. And now we're not trying to be uh um, hypocritical just because we're famous or biased. Just telling, we just tell you what it is from our perspective and our experience. You know, sure. Do you have any, um, anything, anything else? Like, comment and subscribe. I would love to hear, except Gio. I would love to hear <laughs> your comments and your reasons why females like to fix broken men. Because help me understand. Let us know. Because we don't know. We got our We do it, but we don't know. Yeah, that's up to my Savior. <laughs> JC. <laughs> anyway, y'all, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications. Again, so you know when you're posting a video, another Central Saturday. I appreciate y'all. Peace out, vlog.